Breaking news. Alaba International Market has been sealed up since Monday, the 23rd day of October 2023. According to Tukumbo Hab, the Lagos State Commissioner for Environment, the reason for closing the market is because of poor waste disposal practices, failure to pay their waste bills, and gross environmental sanitation offenses. My people now say they happen right now in a labor international market. But the chairman don't come out now and say all these things in a false allegation because a labor is always neat and they are no oil lama. She she may not hear from the chairman. To my charge this morning, my security department called me around 1 a.m. this morning. There are some people in the front of our yes. gates that are trying to shut us down. And when I told them to ask and inquire from them who are they, now I was told that they are from Alausa. Uh, as of 1 a.m., I made their calls. Most of the people that are supposed to get to, they are still sleeping. But as early as 6 o'clock this morning, I'm in Alaba. And I also made a call to the man, to the company that are uh, saddled with the responsibility of evacuating our refuge. I called the woman and said, man, what is happening? I am telling Loma shutting our market down. He said, no, that uh, we are not owing them. That maybe they made a mistake on their own by locking us. That we, the electronics, is not owing them any money. And moreover, they received the last bill they gave to us was 600000 that has to do with September, which was paid on the 26th of uh, uh, September uh, last month. For this month, they have not given us any bill. And moreover, about six, seven months ago, they gave us an award stating that we are the cleanest market here in Lagos State. I don't see the reason why they will just wake up overnight and begin to say that we are dirty again. Moreover, we don't have any dumping sites here in Alaba Electronics. We don't have anywhere we pack our refuge. The only thing we do, we have contracted based on their directive and their agents that these people they are coming to Alaba often in a week, yes. almost three, four times in a week to have evacuate our waste. So we are so disappointed, we are so surprised that we are waking up this morning to see the keys of a uh, uh, llama in our gates. And there was an account they put there, which I called. I called the man, he said, no, that uh, uh, that is the site they saw that is going to get me the pictures. Up to now, I've been calling him, he's no more picking my calls, and they have not sent any video. Lagos states should come and verify. We are the international markets. If they come, they should find out if there is anywhere we have used as a dumping site, then they will be justified. But if there is nowhere we have used as a dump site and the market is tidy and clean, I think it's a, a mere punishment on the side of us that are traders. Because you cannot deprive people, 1,000 and 100,000 of people, that are getting their daily manners and daily feeding from this alaba. So, locking our markets, I, I am telling you, is, is uncalled for. Uh, it's an act of wickedness. It's a, a showing responsibility because those that we are paying, those that are saddled with the responsibility of collecting these levies are collecting it at the appropriate time as they went in. So, coming to tell us that we are dirty, that is an overstatement. So, on this note, I want to appeal to the government. Uh, our governor and all his uh, agencies to please hasten yeah. up to open up this market that we are not dating. We don't generate any refuse that we will pack. They can attest because they gave us an award as the neatest market in Lagos State. These are the receipts. These are the invoices. These are the checks that we have been paying. The last payment they gave to us was 600000 which was paid on that 26th of day. That is 269 of uh, this year. For this October, they are not giving us any deal. Why are they saying that we are not, uh, we are owing, we are not paying? We are paying. They should set the mechanism to come and verify these facts and know whether we are the one that is paying or they are the one that wants to punish us because maybe we are mere threat. Shabiana, don't hear from the chairman. Now, the condition where we did now for a Laba international market, I beg, Lagos state government may gonna do something. Now, here we they get our daily bread. My people, as you they watch this video, share and like. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.